Hello everybody, this is Star Raptor here, and this is my movie review for Man of Steel. So, what did I think of this movie? I really enjoyed this movie. Man of Steel, of course, is about Superman, in particular his origin story. So we start off the movie on Krypton, where Krypton is about to be destroyed, and we see the parents of Kal-El, okay, uh, Superman, uh, uh, Jor-El, as well as Lara, um, doing their best to safeguard their son and and shoot him off to space to avoid the wreckage of their planet of course there's a coup that happens with general zod who destroys the hierarchy on krypton um to assert his power so basically what happens is they actually apprehend the zod send him away to this prison in his black hole so he goes away for a while where superman eventually finds himself on planet earth as an infant is brought up by his father, who's played by um, Kevin Cosner, and it's a great story. the The way the story goes is it goes between uh, flashbacks of Clark Kent growing up on Earth, and he's dealing with having these powers and not really wanting to use them to exploit himself to the military and everything else. So the the movie builds up to Superman finding his suit, talking to his father on a scout ship that actually crashed on the planet. So there's really cool technology that's used by the Kryptonians as you find throughout the movie. Of course, General Zod somehow finds that Clark Kent Kal-El has actually been on Earth. And of course, he wants to get Superman because Superman has something very valuable to him, which holds the... Um, kind of like the life to the Kryptonians who've all been about extinct from Krypton exploding. So the end of the movie goes with a huge standoff between Zod and Superman and uh, I think we all know who prevails. So I really enjoyed this movie. Um, first of all some things I liked about the movie a lot was Krypton was in this movie and it looked really really cool. Something out of Star Wars, really, really awesome effects. These these um, sentient creatures that you know uh, Jor El is flying on uh, throughout the city as it's crumbling. It's just a magnificent visuals, and it, it's a nice little touch to the DC universe, showing another planet like that. Of course, uh, the origins uh, of of Superman. I I love how they uh, move the plot forward by. You know, first showing the flashbacks and going back to present time. So we see him saving a bus full of kids. We see Superman saving um, an oil rig that's about to explode. And it, the list goes on and on. So we do see the abilities of Superman put to the test. And it's it's uh, great fashion for sure. Um, also, Henry Cavill as Superman is great casting. I mean... This guy looks just like him. It's just like, you know, out of comics. Like, the, his whole body physique is amazing. Um, and just the way he carries himself in the scenes, you know, just being right and just, uh, as we all know who Superman is. And it just, I can't think of anybody else better to play the role. Um, Zod is a really great villain in this. Michael Shannon did an awesome job. I mean, he's not just, uh, you know, your throwaway villain. This guy, he has an agenda, and his agenda is logical. Like, his race is wiped off the, the face of the ga wiped out of the face of the galaxy, so he wants to rebuild his people. Of course, he's got a very evil way of doing that, but pretty much wiping out all human race on planet Earth and kind of restructuring them from the codex that Superman has to make his own people, but... You know, it's like the ends justify the means for this guy. And he has a following, too. He has a whole bunch of people that were from Krypton as prisoners. And they're all following him to the death into getting this thing, this this mission completed to bring back their homeworld kind of thing. Um, and that last battle with Superman and Zod was mind-blowing. Uh, the destruction of Metropolis, like, it's just incredible. You know, their laser eye beams going out. Um, just, you know, the military trying to get involved. It's just crashing through these buildings. Like, there's so much wanton destruction everywhere. Like, how are they going to pick up the pieces in Batman v Superman is, is kind of like the question. Like, there's going to be so 
so much aftermath that happens after a battle of that magnitude where just two gods pretty much are just fighting it it's just insane but of course I did ha I did have some cons uh some things I maybe would have liked to see fix or not at all um first of all I think my the biggest pet peeve with this entire movie is Lois Lane. I feel like she's just a very weak character. Um, you know, Amy Adams, I, I just, I don't know. I don't really like her as uh, Lois Lane. I feel like Lois Lane, um, first of all, why was she even escorting the Codex at the end of the movie in an airplane? I mean, she's just a journalist for the Daily Planet. How the heck is she on this aircraft? Um, trying to basically save the day when she has no military expertise whatsoever. Like, they could have just had anybody else do that. But no, let's just put this person on this airplane. And, and, and she pretty much screws up the whole mission anyway. So, yeah, just, I would have liked to see things a lot different with her. Um, another pet peeve I had was, uh, Zod getting out, uh, of the prison to get to Earth. I feel like it was so dumb. Like, oh yeah, so the... So once Krypton got destroyed, we were free from our shackles on the the ship. Like, okay, they knew that they knew the planet was going to get destroyed very soon. Why would they even send them up to the planet or up to the ship, knowing that their planet was going to get destroyed and these lunatics would be out free in, in the galaxy anyway? So, yeah, great great thinking out there for the people of Krypton. Um, and finally, uh, speaking of Krypton, why did the people of Krypton leave? I mean. They kept talking about, we can't come with you, we can't come with you. And even um, um, Clark Kent, uh, at one point in the movie, is talking to like his hologram of, of Jor-El's father. And he was saying, like, why would you have to leave? And he doesn't even give a good reason. He's just pretty much saying, like, just w beating about around the bush. Like, we, we, had to, we had to stay to see you to safety. It's like, you couldn't just come with them anyway? Because, you know, they had like 30 minutes to get off that planet. Like, why didn't anybody leave? I, I don't understand. There were... They're all the captains. They're all going down with the ship. I guess that's just how their uh, their, their um, population is brought up on that planet. Um, but anyway, so those were my cons. But all in all, I really enjoyed this movie. This is, uh, it, I mean, I think this is a different kind of tone for for a superhero movie. It, it's a very, very serious movie. I think there was one line of humor in that whole movie. But, you know, if this is the tone they're going to take with the DC Universe, uh, that's fine. Um, compared to, you know, some of the Marvel movies are, you know, they, they have a lot more humor than these, but, um, for the first, um, installment in the DC universe, I think this is a great start. We got a great person playing Superman. Um, great job by Henry H uh, Cavill again. Um, just great villain. I mean, yeah, there's, there's some things wrong with the story, but all in all, I really enjoyed this movie. So what did you think of the review? You can leave a comment in the comment section below and hit that thumbs up symbol if you like the video. If you like this video, you might want to watch my video review of Daredevil Season 2. You can follow me on Twitter at Star Raptor as well as like my Facebook page at Star Raptor. Thank you for watching and bye bye.